All right, ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube citizens, y'all know who this is. This is your boy, True and Fun Off. And at the moment, I am in Taylor, Michigan. So today's day is Thursday, December the 7th. And I'm at Southland Mall. And I wanted to see with the next migration taking place already. Actually, it took place, I believe, last week. Yeah, it did last week. I want to see if this was still a shumping nest at night. So, seeing how I was down here already because I was hooping it up with my boys. In the Taylor area, I figured, why not come down here and see afterward? And here you go. We got two shumpets right here. Now, I already caught like a grand total of, I think, four prior to me recording. And this is not a shiny. And there's some news. Again, again more news. More news. But before I get to that, let me um break down the scenario for you guys real quick as I catch the shumpet. The rest of Gen 3 or the... 50 to 51 Pokemon that they said they were going to release. It haven't happened yet. It may either happen Friday, aka tomorrow, or Saturday, the day this video will drop. But more news just broke out in the form of a developer insight post as my phone is going off. Now, let me check this trumpet and then we'll catch this other one. I'm not going to stay here for long because there's another spot that I want to go to, and this one is not in Taylor. It's in, I guess this is Dilbert Heights, this place where I'm going to check out. So I'm going to catch this trumpet. I'm going to drive around, probably find three or four more, and then I'm going to head to the other spot. So yeah, stay tuned, y'all. Now look over there, folks, man. We got two trumpets right there. I said I wanted two more, and here they go. So we're going to check, can we check one of them? Okay, this one is not a shiny, 127 CP. Bam, great throw. That's what's up. This should be an easy catch right here, man. The circle was green. It was a great throw. 127 CP, and obviously I got it. So, yeah, that was simple enough. Now, let's check the other one after I transfer this one, giving me 100, no, 1,150 something candies. And this is also not a shiny. So, I'm going to head to the other spot. And I'm going to look for Saber Eye. I'm going to share with you guys that post that Niantic released today. Some point today. In the evening time, rather. So, yeah. Let's go. So, I'm at the other spot, which is on Cherry Hill and Inkster. And I'm not seeing any Saber Eye. I only saw a few of the common crap. And I'm not interested in that. So, as I put my vehicle in park... The next thing I'm going to do is instead read this latest article that was posted on Pokemon Go's official website, PokemonGoLive.com. So here it is, Developer Insights. So this is the second one, the second Developer Insights that we received from Niantic. So check this out. Introducing Dynamic Weather Gameplay and Battle Parties. Trainers, we're just as excited as you are for the introduction of even more Pokemon originally from the Hoenn region to start appearing in the real world. Alongside the introduction of these new Pokemon, we also revealed that a new dynamic weather gameplay system will start rolling out to trainers around the world. We wanted to share a few notes detailing some of these upcoming changes as well as a few comments from our development team. So... We all know what the redder uh, mechanic is going to be like. So, we're just going to skip this part right here. We're going to go to the developer comments. So, here we Oh, wow, okay. It's a bit of a long one. So, here we go. When we first started thinking about features, we'll be introducing, alongside the Pokemon originally discovered in the Hoenn region, a dynamic redder system that reflects real world redder in game was one of the first concepts that came to mind. This feature brings us one step closer to how we envisioned discovering Pokemon in the real world. 
further connecting the digital world to the physical world you experience around you. We want changes in weather to have an impact on your gameplay experience. When it's raining outside, the game world will match the real world conditions. You'll see rain falling from the sky and water type Pokemon appearing much more frequently, but that's not all. While it's raining, the water type Pokemon you catch in the wild or through raid battles will award more Stardust and have greater potential in battle. You will also be able to use your local weather patterns to your advantage in gym battles and raid battles as some move types will be more effective during certain weather conditions. We're incredibly excited for you to experience this new dynamic weather gameplay system as it starts rolling out to trainers around the world. So yeah, that's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. But it don't end there. It don't end there. So now let's get into the battle party. So right now, they are currently at the beta stage. So check this out. Trainers will be able to create and name teams of up to six Pokemon in their Pokemon collection for quick access when participating in gym battles and raid battles. So here's the developer comments on that. We're thrilled to announce that we're also rolling out the first iteration of battle parties. Battle parties are presented or actually preset teams of up to six Pokemon that you are able to create and customize to fit your needs. Whether you want to create different parties for frequent raid battles or so that's dope. It can be used for raid battles. That's what I want right there. That's what I want right there. Raid battles. You, you can use this for raid battles. Now let's get to your <clears throat> or have battle parties that take advantage of certain weather bonuses. This feature will make it easier than ever to quickly choose which Pokemon you bring to battle. During this beta phase, battle parties will be saved to your device, so you will need to reset your battle parties if you get a new device or use multiple devices to play Pokemon Go. Once the feature is fully launched, your battle parties will carry over to each device you log in with. Now that's dope. Now, more stuff. Pokemon storage. Uh-oh. Trainers will be able to increase the maximum number of Pokemon they can collect in their Pokemon storage from 1,000 to 1,500 by purchasing Pokemon storage and uh, upgrade in the in-game shop. So, here's the developer comments. We heard your feedback loud and clear. With the addition of Pokemon originally discovered in the Hoenn region, the need for more Pokemon storage is greater than ever. You will now be able to store up to 1,500 Pokemon. We have also increased the number, the minimum Pokemon storage size by 50. So all trainers will soon be able to carry 50 additional Pokemon. So that's dope. So that's it for that, man. So that's pretty dope. Again, the developers leaving comments. They're sharing it with us what their mindsets were or is when it comes to these new features or upcoming features and things of that nature. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So, I'm back in the game. I don't think there's any Saber Eye here because it's weird. I drove just about around this whole parking lot. No Saber Eye came up. I'm going to keep going. And if I find anything, obviously I'll let you know. Otherwise, I may call it a wrap. So, yeah, stay tuned. So, that's going to do it for today's episode of Pokemon Go. There was no Saber Eye down here. And we learned a lot in this episode. So, first of all, if you're in the Southeast Michigan area, if you head down to Southland Mall like after the 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock hour, Shumpets still spawn like crazy down there. So if you're looking for a shiny Shumpet, that's the spot for you to go. Now as far as where I'm at right now, which is Garden City, I think this is Garden City, which is Cherry Hill and Inkster, do not come here because I did not see one Saber Eye while I was down here. So no. Don't come down here. We also learned about the mindset of the developers when it came to the weather system that's coming up, the raid parties that's coming up, and well, the beta that's going on right now, and also more Pokemon storage. So yeah, this is all fascinating news. Again, like the next 50 or so Gen 3 Pokemon are not in the game yet. They haven't been announced, they haven't been released. And remember, today is Thursday, December the 7th. They could be released either tomorrow or Saturday, which would be the day I drop this video. So, yeah, you know, follow Niantic, follow Pokemon Go app on Twitter, and, you know, keep it locked, man, because 
Gen 3, the hype is crazy, though. Everybody cannot wait for Gen 3, myself included. So, with all that out the way, man, y'all know who this is. This is your boy, the new Jay Gatsby, a.k.a. the new Stephen A. Smith, saying peace out, y'all, and I'll see y'all next time. Ho! Oh!